Motorhead Garage, presented by NHOU Protective Coatings, coming to you from Borla Commerce Park. We are Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. You know, your vehicle's exhaust system is so important. It can make your vehicle more efficient, and of course, it can cut down on emissions and pollution, but a good system can make your car perform better and sound amazing. And Troy Carnes has made a reputation of doing just that with his exhaust systems at Carnage Performance Exhaust. Troy's been in the business for over a quarter century, and his shop has become an exhaust system powerhouse. His years of research and development and hard work have led to some stunning muffler designs and they're known for top-notch performance and sound. Carnage mufflers are made in the USA. Their quality is second to none, made from 14 gauge aluminized steel. And all Carnage mufflers come with a lifetime warranty. That's unbelievable in the business. The Carnage line comes in three series. There's Series 1, which you gotta love. It's their loudest and most aggressive muffler, perfect for getting some attention. And if that's a little over the top for you, then I recommend Carnage Series 2 mufflers. You'll still get a loud, deep tone, but not quite as aggressive as the Series 1. And then there's the Series 3. You'll get a deep, low tone with a milder sound, but people will still know you're around when you get on it. So to me, that sounds like the perfect solution for your daily driver. You can be a mild-mannered reporter Monday through Friday and a superhero on the weekends. You will love Carnage mufflers because of their great tones and you won't get that annoying drone sound when you're on the highway. Carnage Performance Exhaust sells directly to consumers and also to professional muffler shops and they ship to all 50 states. You can go to carnageperformanceexhaust.com. I love the website, by the way, because right on the front page, you can click on the videos and listen to some of the Carnage mufflers throwing out some beautiful sounds. If you have a hot rod with a big cam or if you have a new vehicle with catalytic converters, Carnage is the way to go. Carnage Performance Exhaust, made in the USA and warranted for life. Go check them out. Now, I grew up in Ohio, and like a lot of folks in the northern part of the United States, Joe, I was used to rock salt when I was growing up, and that led to corrosion and rust on your vehicle all the time. It was just kind of a fact of life. Now there's the brine that you drive through. You see them spray it down before a snowfall. How is that different from the salt that we used to see? Oh, it's much more effective on the roads. It's great on the well, roads, right? Much more corrosive on your vehicle. So we've had a problem. Let's say this vehicle comes into us and the, and the customer has to drive through brine to get it in. We were trying to prep and clean these vehicles so that they, they could be boss waxed and we weren't happy with any of the products that were available on the market. And like so many of our products, what we did was turn to our chemist and said, hey, listen, we need to break down that sticky additive that they put in road brine to be able to effectively clean this vehicle and have a good surface to bond the wax to. And so we now developed our salt brine eliminator. And we use them on our own vehicles when they come in, if they've driven through the brine. We also sell it to you as a consumer to use just to maintain your own vehicle. Once the salt brine remover has been used, what happens to the vehicle next? So in this case, we're gonna let it set overnight dry and then we're gonna apply our wax. In your case, you simply spray it with the foam applicator, rinse it off, and, and it, you've removed all of those contaminants, which a car wash doesn't do. Car washes, in many cases, are gonna recycle their water. They cannot and they do not remove sodium in that process. You go into a car wash thinking you're doing the right thing and it turns out it's not. You're pushing that salt water back up into the body cavities and it's detrimental. It's actually counterproductive. How often does the oil need to be reapplied to the vehicle? The oil should be reapplied on an annual basis and you should avoid high pressure undercarriage washes. Go in and have the shell wash, but you don't need to do anything underneath. Let the oil do its job. Well, just like you get your oil changed, just like you change your transmission fluid, all that stuff Stuff. You can also change the oil underneath your car. It'll protect it from rust. We are so proud to have NHOU Protective Coatings as a sponsor here on Motorhead Garage. And we're proud to bring you lots of cool products for your vehicle. We've got a whole lot more coming up next, so stay tuned. The earliest automobiles were started using a hand crank. That often required a lot of strength and could potentially pose a danger to the operator if the crank kicked back or started rotating with the engine. The first electric starter was installed on a British car in 1896, and the 1912 Cadillac Touring Edition was the first American production car to be offered with an electric starter. 